Hello everyone, I'm here to talk about Tokyo Orange, aka Tokyo Roku Go. So, his name is Zaram, and he basically was a bad guy who turned good. Which we seen, we've heard about lots of, we've seen lots of bad guys who have turned evil and then they were good again. Oh, they were evil and then they decided to go in the forces of good. But this guy actually has a different take on things which is very very interesting but let me just go into details of who do I think that he actually got influenced by or the character was influenced by let's go with the first idea which is basically I think his name was uh, Gal Silver aka Lunar Wolf so, if you know the story of Lunar Wolf, basically what happened with him is just the fact of he was put, there was a curse put on him and he turned evil and sooner or later the curse broke and he was, it was revealed that he was actually Merrick or a knight who was basically fighting for good but sadly he got cursed which this is just one good one to actually show that you have a bad guy who turned out to be a good guy and yeah the next thing has to be Boken Silver aka I think it was Mercury Ranger so when it comes to this guy sadly the Power Rangers Super Sentai versions are a bit different is best since Super Sentai is what Zaram is being based off of because it's the original thing. Let's focus on that one and I'll explain what's the difference between those two, even though everyone should know what the difference is. So basically, with those, you basically have with <clears throat> with Boken Silver. It's basically the fact of he is one of the bad guys, but he wants to fight the bad guys as well. He is a part of that race, but he doesn't want to actually indulge in what they were doing. Instead, he wants to actually destroy them. So, with the idea of destroying them, it's basically, you know, and he was actually able to join the forces even though first when he first came it was kind of like yeah I don't want to join you and then he basically had a change of thought in the next episode where he's like okay I'll join you so it's just yeah, the same exact thing but a little bit different the fact of Zaram actually morphed and he said this will be my last fight he was hoping to actually die fighting or die or die fighting at least and when you find out he doesn't die it was yeah I do have to admit that was an embarrassing moment in fact if he didn't die he's like oh man it was so embarrassing I wish I was dead so he gave back the morpher and gave back the did they even give a name for it I don't think they gave a name for those yeah so let me just say train whatever it is yeah, so he gave back the morphing device and whatever, and he just went on his way. Even though, notice the fact of it's not raining anymore, which that's that's good. That bodes well. Um, and with his morpher thing, it basically brings the, up the idea of what happened with Shinken Gold. The fact of he became a Six Ranger, but he wasn't officially claimed a Six Ranger. Since they took the morpher away from him, took the Susi Changer, and basically said, yeah, I don't think you should, or you're not cut out for this. But he proved, and yeah, but it's different. Yeah, as you can see, it's the same concept, but different. The fact of, instead of he getting his morpher taken away from him, it's more the fact of he said, here, you guys take it, I'm going to head off. So, and what's cool is just the fact of this is the same exact episode numbering where I know Robo Knight came in episode 17. I'm pretty sure he did. As for Shinking Gold, I'm maybe he did. I don't 
think so, but maybe he did. I just know someone did. I just know that this is some numbering here. <clears throat> and I do have to admit, when it comes to the whole death thing and idea of, well, what about Gwen Stacy in Amazing Spider-Man 2? She actually hinted on her death. So, does that mean that Zaram is actually hinting the fact of he actually will die within the thing? And I will explain what happened with his monster past after this. But first, basically right now we have four ranger deaths. We know that it was Dragon Ranger, and then there was a big long gap, and then it was Time Fire. Then the gap is kind of small in this one. I think it might have been just two years, and... Then Abba Killer got killed. And then after that, I think it has been a long while. It has at least been like at least eight years since the recent Ranger death. And now you have freaking Beat Buster who died. So, well, actually, no, I should say five years. No, no, not. Mm. Well, anyways, it is a. It was kind of a long time. So. Since you already had Beat Buster, and then after that, I don't know if Corrin counts, but if Corrin does count, then yeah, they did have a Ranger death, but I don't think he really counts. I don't think he really counts, so will they have Zaram thought to get killed? And also, I would like to take the side note here and say... They actually were planning to kill Ori Ka Ar oh my gosh, Ikari Guy. Yeah, they actually was thinking, hmm. And I think I know exactly what episode they were going to do. I think the episode where Saru actually sacrificed her life, it would have been more of Guy was going to sacrifice his life to save not only Marvelous, but save everyone else. But thank goodness it was Saru, even though it's sad that Saru actually, in the end, proved to be a very good person, or monkey, and it's sad that she got screwed over. Yeah, it really is sad. But anyways, will Zaram be the next Power Ranger death? I would really like to say hope not, because this is like the first time ever, even though Technically, the first time ever they had a Six Ranger, they did kill him. It's kind of going to be horrible if it turns out the first time ever they're going to have an Orange Ranger and they kill him. Which is kind of... Man, that's messed up. But anyways, let me talk about his past right quick before I end this. So, what happened with Zarim is the fact that Zarim is, I would just say, a quote-unquote water summoner. The fact of he's able to summon rain and the bad things he's done was actually just rain on people's parade. Pun intended. Yeah, the fact of he canceled playtime outside, he canceled field trips, he canceled picnics, and etc. etc. Just because he's able to summon rain and he basically did that. And he felt sad that he actually did all that even though I'm with Mar I'm with right he right actually I would say right I'm actually here right ah oh my gosh I'm actually agree with right actually saying yeah that doesn't seem like it's not that personal I don't think it's that not that bad at all actually it doesn't seem that bad I mean <clears throat> It's kind of crappy and upsetting, but it's not that bad, actually. But the thing that turned him around is the fact of after the rain, he saw a rainbow. And he saw it was the most beautiful thing. And he decided to change what he was doing from being a bad guy into being someone who's helping the rainbow and protecting the beautifulness of rainbows. Or at least of something pretty or whatever but yeah that's basically his story so if he's going is he gonna die man it's really hard to tell i will at least say since there is a little gap between the ranger death because it's been two years and notice the span from 
Time Fire and Abba Killer, aka Quantum Ranger and White Dino Ranger. They are a bit close together. Not as close as they are, but a bit close together. Let me just make sure. I would say at least three years. So, Go Busters have it. Think, okay. So, just by that idea, I don't think he could actually die in this because it's too soon to actually have another Ranger death. So, I think it bodes well for him that he's not going to actually die anytime soon. Hopefully. But at least the good news is that with his story, he actually could have the idea of, oh my gosh, now he's fighting with his other side, his dark side now and stuff. Even though it seems to me that his dark side doesn't even exist that much. But thank you for listening. I am webbing out. Peace out. And if you have any ideas of your own or if you want to just say, yeah, they're their own character. They don't have any inspiration from any other character. Go ahead and just tell me down below. And just thank you for listening. And I'm webbing out.